Welcome everybody. This uh, is uh, Change the World One PC at a Time with Trashware. My name is Andrea Perotti. I've been uh, born and raised in Milan. In here you can see some of the things that I like, some of the things that I do. Just to answer the kind lady, I also work for Red Hat, but today I'm here with a different hat. No, it was not planned as a joke. I'm also part, uh, I'm a volunteer for an association named uh, PC Officina. And uh, I'm, to be completely honest, I'm also the president of PC Officina since 2021. <laughs> it's their fault they voted me, I was not. <laughs> But uh, that's it. I want to have a quick chat with you about our experience and uh, what uh, we do. This is our agenda for today. So we'll deep dive a little on uh, the association. We'll see what the hell is this trash for things. We talk about open source, about people, and a small wrap up. Because maybe what we are doing in Italy can be done also in your home. So the association, why that name? Well, it's very easy. It's a compound word. You take a PC, you take a workshop, an officina in Italiano, and you have PC officina. Czech friends told me never say in the way we pronounce because it means something different. So I'm already saying sorry if by my mistake I can say the C in a more strong way. Just uh, bear with me. So our idea is to create a similar experience to what uh, uh, passionate about bicycle have with cycle officina, cycle workshop. Basically, places where you can go if you need to just fix a little something on your bike, uh, or maybe where you just want to hang out with other passionate about this. Uh, we want to replicate the same experience, but uh, in the IT world. And uh, we not only steal from them the name, but also the idea, the experience, because it was really great. And probably it's not the case that fact uh, that many of our associates are also heavy cyclers. They love the bike. Hello, hello, welcome. So the formal part, uh, what we are. We are an association for, for real. It's not just a bunch of people. We have uh, official tax ID. And we have a statue. And what are our goals as an association? Well, we want to, of course, promote the aggregation and the sharing of knowledge, like maybe you already do in the open source communities that you, you, you are part of. We sustain and support free and open source, of course. And we also want to promote the protection of the environment, the reduction of the waste, and especially of the electronical waste. We want to increase the awareness about the usage of the technology. We want to, we try to help fight the digital divide. And last but not least, we also want to support low budget uh, computing because it's costly and we may want to have everybody to have the opportunity to use a computer. Where are we based? We are based in Milan, Italy, northern part of Italy, and uh, the association uh, has uh, been created in uh, December 2011. So we have uh, a good experience and a good, uh, a lot of time behind us. So, but what we do for, for real? First, and foremost, we have our workshop and uh, we maintain it free and open to everybody. We open uh, our doors uh, one evening uh, per week, uh, almost uh, every week, unless we have something maybe to do around uh, like other uh, activities that uh, I'm gonna show. In there, you can find the tools, uh, some very lovely iFixit tools that the lady is showing, and uh, you can find everything you may need to fix your computer from very easy things like change some RAM to maybe start uh, adjusting something more, uh, more complicated. We offer technical support uh, with a, a very peculiar point of view, not just for the user, but with the user. We are not a shop. We are not uh, competing with a uh, regular shop, but uh, we'd like to offer the experience of learn from peers. So you came with a problem, 
Maybe you have already documented yourself on how to do that, but you are not confident. And the problem can be, I want to install Linux for the first time, to I have a power outage and now the system does not boot anymore. Let's see together. The point is together. There is no, this is the problem, see you next week. No way. The, you stay where your hardware stay. If you go away, we are not responsible. And uh, not only that, we collect computers and uh, devices, uh, we restore them and find them a new, a new home. But we'll discuss about this a little bit later. And last but not least, we do also seminars, workshops. Uh, we try to share what we have learned. You may imagine that uh, there are a lot of geeks in, uh, in here, but uh, it's not uh, only a geek uh, association. We have space for any kind of experience, any kind of level. There are people that uh, on their daily job are our director. There are people that work in totally different fields than IT. Of course, we have also people like me and others that are programmers and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, the great thing is that uh, we are not only uh, technical, is the fact that uh, when the device is really unfixable, we, just, we don't just throw it away, but we, we use it also for, uh, other, uh, for uh, other ideas, other projects, and so we try to give them a third life, maybe after the first and the second. So the treasure, the core of our talk today, Let's start from a definition. This is uh, taken from uh, Wikipedia. Trashware is a compound word derived from the contraction of trash and hardware. Trashware refers to the activity of replacing faulty components in electronic uh, devices or the activity of making obsolete computer operational again. Great. So why doing trashware? Well, first thing, we want to preserve the environment. If you fix something, it will not become a waste, and it will not become a problem for, for us or for our, uh, for our children. Oops, sorry. Second, to save money, because sometimes, very often, fixing something is way cheaper than buying something new. Every, of course, we have to dip into case-by-case -case situation, but usually, if you know what to do, you may save a lot of money and have your system back, uh, back on track. The, sec the third point is that uh, maybe we forget, but uh, computer has become so famous because they were uh, adjustable. They can be expanded. They can become what we need them to do. Maybe nowadays with laptop it's slightly harder, but uh, you know, probably you may know about the framework uh, corporation, the framework laptop. There are people that still believe that computers have to be that way. And doing trashware, keep your hands uh, busy and uh, keep your mind that uh, what uh, is uh, not uh, maybe does not fit you now, it can become, can be fixed. Also, because by doing trashware, you learn. You learn that things can be fixed. You learn that things uh, sometimes uh, get obsolete uh, in a forceful way. And uh, maybe by thinking things and by doing trashware, you also start thinking that maybe you are doing a, a political act. You are screaming, I want my right to repair. Yeah. <laughs> and also because great smiles when you do trashware. So the real and the complete definition is that uh, we, with Trashware, we have the main purpose of encouraging eco-sustainability so as to extend the life of devices and to produce less waste. So the great things about doing Trashware is that you can do for whatever of the uh, reasons that we have just told before. And the other apply as well. You can do just because uh, you are in, uh, in need, or you can do that because you, uh, you love that computer, that old Lenovo that uh, has been with you for so many years. Uh, at the end, uh, by using daily, you, you, you like it. You don't want to throw it away because uh, it has been with you for so many years. And uh, if you find a way to make it usable again and to continue to be with you, you are happier. 
So is trashware the solution for every problem? Unfortunately, not. We have to take into account that uh, the purpose of a device, it's what uh, uh, lead uh, and uh, define what will be his fate. So here in, uh, in uh, the association, we have started thinking about uh, when uh, old is too old, and we have identified this uh, scenario. So when a computer is just a computer, works fine, and with small adjustment, can continue to be a generalistic device, cool you are still ready to, to work. But when you st we start seeing that maybe the device uh, has some problem, like a laptop with uh, a, a broken uh, monitor, and maybe the monitor is not that cheap to, to be obtained, not to be changed. Or maybe we have some uh, onboard motherboard with uh, all, device, all components in a single motherboard and uh, the, the monitor, the, the video card does not work anymore. So all those situations start becoming limits. And when we face a limit, we have a challenge. So maybe that device uh, it's not fit, does not fit the general purpose anymore. But we can find a new use case, a new usage for that. Like, for example, you may remind uh, the netbook uh, uh, era. Very small screen, uh, not so powerful device. Uh, nowadays, they are not that great. But have you ever thought about uh, who is uh, find himself perfectly um, fine with dealing with small uh, keyboards uh, and small screen? Kids, why not use those small computers for uh, educational purpose? We have plenty of uh, educational software that can run on normal or even not so powerful computer, and they can become educational tool for school and etc. So. It's not uh, important if uh, it's uh, not working as a generalistic computer anymore, but it's important to find a purpose for that device. And this uh, has something that we have thought a lot about uh, when uh, old is uh, really old. And uh, we in uh, the association uh, has decided uh, year after year about uh, some changes in terms of what computer we cannot collect anymore. So the first bullet points are way uh, self-explanatory. But in 2020, we realized that uh, we were not facing uh, an hardware problem, but a software problem. The 32 bits distribution were not available anymore, at least not the most common one, and especially not the one that we uh, choose to use. So we decided that it was not, uh, not, uh, not good to have them anymore with us. But that doesn't mean that we were not having them anymore. We stopped to collect them. We still have all the other 32 bits that we have collected in the various years. And in 2022, the story uh, repeated. We realized the fact that four gigs uh, were not enough uh, for uh, for the generalistic use case. And so we realized that it was not uh, good for us to, to collect uh, the IDR2 anymore. This is because uh, we don't have uh, so much space to collect all the hardware that uh, we receive. So we also need to be careful about uh, what device uh, we uh, accept. So right now, our uh, target uh, is uh, that uh, if a computer is uh, uh, dual core, 64 bits, uh, and has um, an i3 family CPU or something similar, and uh, as a consequence, it has the idea of free RAM, yeah, that's good. We, we know we can uh, make good use of that. Why uh, this uh, specification? The point is that uh, we are, it's not that we are picky, we don't like old stuff. The point is that our goal is to give them away. And in order to give the computer away, we need to be sure that they can be a generalistic computer. So while we are pretty confident that uh, probably Linux can run everywhere, 
our goal is not to demonstrate that Linux can run everywhere. That's probably the retro computing goal. Our goal with Trashware is to make sure that devices can go anywhere. So what the user, the average user do with a computer when he's not doing that with uh, his smartphone? Probably most, all, some of those. But it's not only that. Sometimes uh, we are all grown-up guys, and so we have to deal with uh, traffic tickets, uh, with the garbage taxes. We have maybe to, to, to book the, uh, some uh, medical visits, and so on and so on. So all those needs have one point in common. They all need a browser. They all can be addressed with a browser. And uh, what is the most important component that uh, you need when you want to have a smooth browser experience? A lot and a lot of RAM. So uh, we have decided to have standard in order to help us uh, uh, providing and uh, setting up computer in uh, such a way that uh, they will last at least a couple of years. As an association, we are aware that those are maybe 10-year-old computer. So our goal is very realistic. We said if one of our computer can still work for two years, our goal is, uh, is uh, obtained. We are having success. In order to make that happen, we, know, we need to make sure that those computers will not last uh, two weeks, two months, but two years. We need to beef them a little. And uh, if we have the possibility, we pump up the CPU as well, but uh, uh, it's not so common. The, most, uh, the, the components that tend to, to be uh, available more easily are, uh, of course, the, the memories. So we decide that uh, if uh, the computer will be a, a Linux computer, it will have uh, uh, six gigs of RAM and optionally an SSD. On Windows machine, it's uh, mandatory eight gigs of RAM and the SSD as well and the license, because we don't do shady things. If the computer has been donated to us with the sticker, with the license, it's okay. If it's a corporate computer with uh, licensing managed centrally, that's a nice and lovely Linux computer, full stop, no question. The point is SD, SSD is definitely great for any use case. So. Also, when we offer Linux, Linux computer, we suggest the receiver. Do you have maybe some spare money? Because that will definitely change your experience. But it's not always the case. We have learned to be uh, very uh, humble and pay attention to who is coming uh, as uh, asking for help. Because uh, it's not so easy sometimes if you are in need to ask for help. So also on our side, we always need to be careful in uh, proposing, but also listening. So if the person is, uh, for example, uh, has the possibility, we, we say, OK, just uh, we can take care of buying the, that uh, disk. You're just going to pay. If it's not possible, it's OK. But then the exaggerated amount of RAM will also help us with the spinning disk. But sometimes it's really too old, or sometimes it breaks, because uh, we test them carefully before uh, uh, giving them. So uh, we have uh, uh, the possibility to, of course, have a creative use of uh, something that uh, is some hardware. But also we uh, have uh, created a very good uh, friendship with another association that use uh, a uh, broken computer for creating uh, uh, educational laboratories. Their uh, name is uh, Smonting, and it's uh, a name game, and uh, it's, the meaning is uh, disassemble and uh, play together. So what they do is just use uh, our broken computer for their labs, and that's uh, some call circular economy. That's to, for us, it's, it's simply great, because uh, what uh, we can't use anymore, it's it's good for them. So in all this, 
how open source fit? Well, this is our regular regeneration process. We remove the dust, we change the thermal paste because uh, one of the reasons why sometimes also computer, all computers start getting older is because they don't dissipate appropriately the heat, and so the CPU start going, uh, it's uh, running slower because you don't want to self-burn. We check the RAM because sometimes uh, the computer act crazy, it's just a poor uh, two gigs of RAM that uh, is uh, faulty. We check the hard, the hard drive and then proceed with installation. And uh, everything that is not uh, just mechanical, it's uh, possible thanks to open source because we test the RAM with MemTest86+, Plus that uh, we are very happy that has introduced the support for uh, UFI systems as well. We use bad blocks on spinning disk and then uh, our uh, operating system of choice is uh, Linux. <laughs> Which Linux? <laughs> well, it's a funny story. Basically, bef even before I was part of the association, everybody was installing uh, his preferred uh, uh, distribution. Everybody has its own. But there was also the opportunity, you know, to use computer that is not your own without data. So you test the most uh, stripped down, the, the, the newest uh, whatever, a complete mess. The point, the problem was that people were maybe need, looking for some help uh, from us, and uh, if there was no volunteer that has installed Puppy Linux, uh, maybe nobody was no, has no knowledge about Puppy. <laughs> so we decided to do something in a more structured way. So what do we need? We need a visually pleasant distribution because end user that accept to use Linux, uh, maybe he's not a techie guy. More often, it's uh, if uh, he's gonna receive a second-hand computer, he may be uh, one grandma that need just to check some emails for uh, the health situation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Second point: all via graphical user interface. Forget the console. The end user of PC Officina is not a techie guy. More, more often than not, we need to have proper hardware support and proprietary driver support because unfortunately the world is rich of various kind of hardware. And also we need to uh, be able to help our user. So if they need a proprietary software that luckily for them work on Linux, let's make their life easier, not install the super nerd distribution that uh, is not supported by, by any, any third party software vendor. Of course, need to be lightweight because, uh, because we are talking about 10 years old computers. The most important things and what scare us most is the fact that more often than not, we, our computer are just fire and forget. We give them the computer and we never see again. So we have a huge responsibility in making sure that uh, the user do what uh, they, uh, they need to do with the computer, the user do the updates that is not so common and that those updates will not break the computer. So we prefer to have a long-term distribution, something that uh, will give us assurance that the changes are not that disruptive, plus documentation. And uh, we also accept uh, opinionated choices, but respecting the freedom. So the winner is the Linux Mint uh, because, uh, because it's based on Ubuntu, because don't force us with snaps, uh, and because uh, uh, at the end of the day, it has uh, a visual, uh, visually uh, lovely experience and uh, it's coherent uh, and does not just look like a dump from the upstream. So uh, it's not my favorite and definitely not my distro of choice, but for our users, works fine. And that's enough. So I talk a lot about computers, but the core of the association are people. So our goal is to uh, enable people to do what they want to do. And we are lucky that very often people that have great ideas need our help. So we like to think that our computers are <laughs> enabler for uh, changing the world. I'm gonna tell you three stories. 
The first one is uh, from, uh, come from uh, Verona, from the city of uh, Romeo and Giulietta. And uh, it was uh, January 2022, where a psychiatric day center uh, care asked us for help because they had this idea. There were some recent studies that demonstrated that uh, uh, through some cognitive uh, games, uh, uh, patients or users of those kind of services uh, maintain uh, their mind uh, active and uh, has uh, on the long term uh, positive uh, effects uh, on, uh, on them. But they were lacking hardware. We, they reached us out asking for help. We were absolutely happy. We provide them some desktop and some laptops. The great thing is that they came uh, into Milan, so 170 kilometers with the entire community. So it was uh, a great day for them because uh, while uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the guys responsible for the, for the daycare were dealing with computer, the rest of the, um, of the group was visiting Milan and they get back home not only happy with good memories about uh, uh, the dome, but also with uh, the computers that uh, worked, uh, worked fine. We recently have a feedback and they were still working using them and they were happy. Second story, it's uh, always from uh, the east part of Italy. This time it's Venezia, I don't need to introduce the city. And it, this time was uh, a, a group of lawyers. They were looking for create uh, a right spot. They were looking for a way to offer legal help, orientation desk, especially for immigrants, but not only limited to that. Great idea, zero budget, uh, need for help. They asked for uh, some laptops in order to be able to remove them because it was a shared space. And uh, in a uh, few months ago, they uh, received the, the hardware through a very funny story because a friend of a friend of a friend was going from Milan to not, uh, not Venice, but uh, from, till Padua and then from Padua to Venice. But at the end, uh, the laptop uh, reached out uh, the, the final destination. This is the third one uh, story. It's also the closer one in uh, the neighborhood next to our uh, headquarters. We have some schools that uh, unfortunately suffered the, um, the loss of some uh, laptops because uh, they were stolen. So we, we, done, we, we heard about that and we offered our help to substitute the laptop with desktops because they are heavier, maybe less, uh, uh, less interested for this. And then uh, from that started a very lovely collaboration that uh, ended up with a uh, change of display monitor on uh, a primary and a secondary school because they were part of the same uh, uh, pool of schools. And uh, the great thing is that uh, after seeing a as uh, some of our computer working with Linux and having one of the teacher that is, uh, was a very, she was very geeky. She had the idea to just, uh, rather than uh, changing the computer that they were uh, using, that were slow, old, and et cetera, and they were all using uh, web stuff, they said, what, what do you suggest us to do? And uh, we tell them, just buy the SSD. So with a fraction of the cost, they changed the disk they install Linux Mint. And the funny thing is that now the Linux lab is more loved by the teachers respect to the more powerful but Windows one. And uh, it was a great success for, uh, for us and also for the teachers that believe in this, uh, in this story. So wrap up. In those uh, 11, 12 years of, uh, of our association, what uh, we have definitely learned is that uh, start small is definitely absolutely right. So a good idea doesn't need to start immediately big. If you deal with hardware, make sure to have an inventory because uh, we, it took us some time to, in order to, to make that uh, the choice. Make sure to have a procedure. If you want to replicate our experience that is really nothing uh, uh, nothing uh, special, but everybody can start doing that. 
make sure to have procedure because because uh, when uh, people start uh, learning that there are there is the possibility to do some volunteering <laughs> with computers uh, may find that interesting and so you want to tell them not just by word but uh, hey we do things this way and uh, they have a reference and um, Make sure to be legal because you don't want to be stopped by, uh, by the law because you are taking short path. And also make sure to be a legal entity because uh, if you want to receive hardware from uh, companies, it's realistic that probably they, they can just uh, throw away their hardware to Mr. Nobody. They need to have something that can track down the fact that one item that was part of the corporation, now it has been given to another entity, another legal entity. Be pragmatic. We absolutely love Linux, but it's not for uh, everybody, and uh, sometimes people need, uh, need uh, uh, Windows. And uh, keep in mind that uh, if you start and if you decide to do something like this, you are doing volunteering, so it's not the technology for technology's sake, but it's the people that are your focus. So be ready to, to listen, be ready to focus on, uh, on, uh, on the person. Technology is just a way to, to help them and have fun. So this is uh, some of us. And, uh, now I'm open for uh, your question. Yes? I mean, choosing a distribution sounds interesting, but it's kind of not. The interesting question is, what desktop are you running? <laughs> That's good. That's good. So the question is, uh, uh, choosing a distribution is not that interest, but uh, the real uh, topic is, uh, what desktop environment? We have chosen uh, XFC because uh, it uh, sounds and it works uh, in uh, a very classic way, so also Windows users may find themselves uh, comfortable with, but it's lightweight and uh, it's, uh, it works fine. Also, the way Linux Mint uh, package them, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's good for our end users. Yes? Uh, can you repeat? Because I haven't heard. What demographics do you have? Um, like, are you getting different names coming in with the ancient age producers or any stuff? Okay, so the question is if we have a demographic uh, trend about uh, who come to uh, the association. It, it depends. Usually, uh, are uh, yeah, people from uh, 50s uh, and, uh, and older uh, that uh, may have problem with Windows, but, and we also support that, but we also have uh, some uh, very curious uh, Linux users, uh, and not only among the, the younger, and uh, they start uh, using uh, that for various reasons, because they're curious because of uh, uh, political behavior. It's, I'm against the system, I use Linux, and uh, various, various kinds. And uh, yeah, that, it's, it's funny, it's always funny to be open to the people, because you find uh, the <laughs> an, entire, an entire kind of people. There was another question, yeah? Uh, do you see this being sort of sustainable in the future or maybe even scalable in the future given the, the current trend in technology is to make things smaller and, and more difficult to customize and more difficult to you know, do something with on your own? Because even the right to repair has become a very contentious all around the world, basically. Okay, so the question is uh, if uh, the, the activity of uh, the association can be sustainable on the long term, given the fact that uh, uh, the industry is uh, constantly putting all things in one, uh, in one single device, so the uh, possibility to uh, change pieces uh, is, uh, is reducing. That's, uh, that's absolutely a, a good question. We hope to be able to continue to do so. What uh, we can try to do and what we are doing is to uh, advertise and uh, to make people aware that when they buy a computer, it's not just uh, the cost or the performance, the only point, but also 
paying attention to how repairable it is. So I've already mentioned uh, in the past, uh, uh, I, I fix it, the, the, the company that uh, do, uh, and uh, they offer various services. So we have been uh, uh, given uh, one of their tools with a full of screws, etc. They have created a manifesto that uh, you can find online and uh, that uh, really fit in that. We, we hope to continue to be able to do so. For sure, even if the industry should move in uh, such a negative way, we see changes with 10 years of uh, distance. So we have uh, always 10 years of uh, old computer that uh, will be received by us before uh, having to, to stop. OK, last question, then we have to go. So do you have, like, have you decided that those bad better results than, say, learning foreign languages or playing chess? Oh, it, it was not our choice. We have just been informed that the use case for, by, by the, the daycare center was also to use those cognitive games. We really have no, we haven't, not even seen those. We just delivered them computer with an operating system. Thank you very much, guys.